Now one thing that I would change about the river is probably the amount of water that's going to the environment to, I guess, give more life to it. Because if it doesn't have enough water, then it starts dying away and what we have now will be lost. Yeah, the people growing up now will not be able to see its full beauty, I guess. My name's Kia Smith and I'm 25 years old and I've been paddling down the length of the Murray River for the last three months. Starting walking into the source of the Murray in the Snowy Mountains and have been yeah, making my way downstream to where I am now at Swan Reach in South Australia. I've had a desire to do the Murray River paddling in a canoe for a for a long time and I guess that sort of desire started from growing up by the river in Robinvale, um, sitting by the banks and taking in its soul. Had four years doing an outdoor education course at La Trobe Uni in Bendigo and that skilled me up to get to the point where I felt comfortable enough to paddle and also yeah, have a bit more of awareness personally of the river. In a way it's been good that I haven't been paddling with people the whole time because it means that I have the time to you know, discover things about myself that I never knew before. Just testing myself to see how how long I can go paddling by myself without having contact with other people because when you're in a town you sort of in a way separate yourself from nature. I've learnt just how regulated it has become. Having started uh, where the snowy hydro scheme is regulating the water and from there it goes down into Lake Hume and Lake Mole Whaler which are water storages on the Murray and then from there on there's I think it's 12 to 13 locks on the river all the way downstream and so you see the effects of what that is having on the natural regime of the Murray River. Coming up to locks I've seen how there's a lot of the river egg gums are dying because they've been in the water for too long and other river egg gums that are higher up on the banks that are dying and trying to cling to the sides of the bank because they haven't had enough water. My perceptions of the river, I feel, haven't really, really changed that much. Uh, I think it's been more of a firming thing for me um, to do this journey. In terms of yeah, improvements I feel like need to happen on the river is more so just about time, time spent on the river and getting an understanding of it. Um, after the river experience and see myself working more in the field with the younger generation, taking students out into places like the Murray River and having that background of a trip like this is going to be fantastic to share that experience with them. Nurture a connection like I have, have had over many years.